Good morning everyone and welcome to today's vlog. Alright, today I'm really excited to be vlogging because this is going to be something a little bit different. Today's vlog is going to be all about health, wellness, diet, fitness, all that fun stuff. So when Rodolfo and I got married, we were really good at going to the gym because we had a gym pass. I obviously was very motivated to stay healthy and get myself in good shape for our wedding. And then after our honeymoon, we came home, we still had our gym pass for about a month, and then we moved. And obviously when we moved, we lost our gym passes, and we decided we were just going to try and work out from home through running or like at-home workouts or things like that because we thought, let's try and save the money on a gym pass and just use the fact that it's summer and it's warm outside to work out. However, we have not been good at all. I will totally admit that we have sucked at this so bad. We have worked out here and there. He's been better at it than me. I just find I'm so lazy when I'm at home and so sometimes going to the gym is more motivating for me because I'm there so I might as well work out. However, that is all going to change. We've been talking about it and we've just decided that we're tired of not feeling like we're pushing our bodies or we're not. We're tired of just not feeling our healthiest. So, the whole thing is changing. Fitness, diet, all of that. And I thought, why not vlog it, film it all, share with you guys the things we do, the things we like, the things we don't like, and just share this journey of kind of getting back into shape and getting back into eating healthy with all of you. Today, what I'm really going to focus on is food prepping. I don't like meal planning per se, but I love prepping food so that it's ready to go for juicing, for smoothies, for dinners, for lunches, for work, and all of that stuff. I find that for most people when we start to fail or fall a little bit in our healthy eating is when we're really hungry and we just want to grab something. And obviously in that moment having to prepare a really good nutritious meal just doesn't sound appetizing or doesn't sound like we have the energy to do it. We just want to grab whatever's in front of us. We want a bag of chips. We want some popcorn. And that's why we often go for those quick, easy, fast food options. However, that's what I'm trying to really stay away from. We're still in the process of choosing what we're going to cut and what we're going to like incorporate into our diet. We are right now leaning towards the keto way of dieting. I'm not a fan of diet, so I want you to know that from day one that this is not like a deprivation diet. We are not doing it because, oh, we want to lose this much weight or whatever. We just want to be healthy. And so because of that, we do feel like we need to take some drastic measures to revamp our bodies and just revamp our lifestyle to be more healthy. So let's head to the kitchen. I've been talking enough and rambling, blah, 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 blah. And let's start prepping some food. All right. So this is what I have going for food prep so far. Basically, I have just gotten all the things I want to prep out onto our table here. I've got my cutting board ready and containers ready and basically I'm going to go through and organize everything. I'm going to cut up some mushrooms and zucchini and carrots for stir fry and have them in a container like this so that I can just come home from work, grab this container, throw it in a pot with maybe some ground turkey or something and have a stir fry ready to go. I'm going to hard boil a bunch of eggs so that we have those to take for lunch at work because I find that I really like having hard boiled eggs. They're very filling and it's a good way to just get a little bit of protein in. I'm also going to grab some more zucchini actually from the fridge and spiralize a little bit of it so we can have some spiralized zucchini noodles. Then I'm just going to cut up some sweet potato and I'm going to uh, bake it and have it in our fridge again to take to work or to have for a dinner one night. I really like um, having sweet potato. I think it's really good. And right now we're actually working towards cutting out potatoes out of our diet, which is like, ah, I can't believe I'm saying that, but we are trying to do a low carb diet. And so I'm going to be cutting potatoes out. Well, we had these four left over, so I'm not going to throw them out, obviously. So I'm going to do these two together and just make like some uh, baked potatoes and stuff. And then with these carrots, I'm going to use some for the stir fry, and then I'm going to use the rest of them and cut them up so that they're ready for juicing. And I think I'm actually just gonna go ahead because I have the time today and juice a bunch of them. So we have carrot juice to incorporate into smoothies and such. And then I'm gonna take the spinach because I just find when it stays in this bag, it start, well, first of all, the bag's huge and we're halfway through it and it just takes up a lot of space in the fridge. And I find the like, moisture gets in and they start to go bad. So I'm gonna remove them and put them in different, a new like dryer Ziploc bag just to see how that works and just to make the fridge look more organized. So that's where we're gonna start for now.
I just finished up prepping all of the food million hours later. It is all done, but it's definitely worth just taking a morning, an afternoon, or an evening to prep your food for the week, especially as we are trying to make healthier lifestyle choices. I find that food is often where I find myself falling short and reaching for junk food or just sugary treats because I'm craving something quick and easy. So by food prepping, I now have quick and easy nutritious things ready to grab when I just need a snack or when I need a quick meal. So I'm going to show you guys all the things that I did every week. I think it's going to basically look different and I would probably normally do double the amount because this isn't actually going to last us that long, but we're in need of a big grocery shop. And so until then, I have prepped with what we had in our fridge and I thought I would just share for any of you who are needing some help with your food prep motivation. So this is what I did today. Like I mentioned all of these, but I'll just quickly go over them again. I got, I cut up a bowl of veggies so that we're ready for a veggie stir fry. And then I can just throw a, some ground turkey, rice, or whatever we want with this and it's all ready to go. I baked some sweet potatoes as well as the few potatoes that we had left. And so those are ready to either take up for lunch or have for dinner or whatever. I made some zucchini noodles. This was the first time using our like noodle machine and it was actually really fun and it made a lot. That's only two zucchini and that's probably, I could probably break that into two meals. And then I actually went and made a huge bowl of granola. Granola is so easy and simple to make and I just think it's like Honestly, like it's mainly oatmeal and oats are so incredibly cheap. And then I just add shredded coconut, nuts, cacao nibs, really whatever I'm feeling. But this will last us definitely this entire week, hopefully into next week. We'll see. But I love having this with yogurt and berries in the morning for breakfast. And then I just put some of the smaller carrots in these little containers so that if I need a quick snack or I'm just like craving something crunchy or whatever, instead of going for chips, I can convince my brain to go for these because they're ready to go. And then I hard boiled the eggs that are all ready to go for lunches. And then of course we have our carrot and cucumber juice that we made so that we can throw that into smoothies. Again, if I had more things to juice, I would probably make a couple more of these, but this was all we had left in the fridge. So that just makes smoothies a little easier. That is everything for today's food prep. Really easy really quick and Rodolfo was just mentioning that this does definitely help if you are on a monthly budget because then you're you're making your food go further and last a little bit longer that's what I find because like these two zucchinis I could have just thrown in a stir fry but now I made like freaking two servings of noodles like it's really fun to try and make your food um, last longer and use it for different creative ways so just a handy tip there as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, we will continue sharing kind of all the things we do to build a healthier lifestyle from now on. Food, I think, is the number one thing I wanted to get a handle on this week, and that was a good place to start. I find with starting any like healthy routine, healthy lifestyle, it's better to just start small and start simple so you don't get overwhelmed and end up falling off the bandwagon, not doing it, or just not accomplishing your goals. So. Food prep was my number one thing. We'll take you guys along with us when we go to the grocery store to share kind of the new things we're gonna be buying and incorporating into our weekly grocery stuff. And then, yeah, as we come up with more of what we're gonna do to really revamp our health lifestyle, we will continue sharing that with you guys. But for now, I hope you enjoyed food prepping with me this morning, and I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye.